this side of the Mississippi. Get ready for March Foil Madness when you order from CoolStuffInc.com. During the month of March, each Magic the Gathering order will receive a free foil, with some lucky customers receiving a foil rare or one of these special promos. Get your orders in now at CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to Monday video here on CoolStuffInc.com. It's the return of Mono White Control. Uh, Willie Adel, of course, Magic Hall of Famer, just 5 out of league uh, a few days ago. Uh, with this kind of like old school standard list, uh, Mono White Control was a big deal in standard before the printing of Atraxa. Uh, once Atraxa came out and the domain decks kind of came out, fell by the wayside because it couldn't keep up with Atraxa, couldn't counter it or stop it in that way, and uh, just kind of fell off basically. And uh, But now we see here uh, a very hateful looking deck from uh, from Old Willie going 5-0. Going with a lot of hate cards here, we got Main Deck Doorkeeper Thrall, which is a pretty cool card in this format. Uh, it turns off all the Convoke ETB abilities, turns off Atraxa itself, obviously, as well as a bunch of other abilities. And uh, that's pretty sweet, a 1-2 Flash Flyer. Also, have Main Deck Flanker, which is very good against the uh, deck they played last week here on Cool Stuff, the Teamer Ramp Combo deck, which is absurd. Really, really powerful deck. And uh, this is obviously a great hate card there. And then uh, Elishnorn is also a absurd hate card against the ramp deck, turning off all the Sacklands, uh, as well as turning off Nissa, and uh, just a really, really powerful effect. It's pretty hard to beat, actually, because obviously their, their lands don't function, which is great. So kind of a cool main deck hate card there as well. Around this mono white shell, you know, get lay down arms and ossification and farewell, and uh, kind of just this, you know, mono white mid range control deck, a lot of planeswalkers. Deck's pretty cool. So um, let's give it a spin and see how it goes. First, we have our more sponsor at CoolStuffInc.com. Command Fest Dallas is coming April 19th to the 21st. So saddle up and get ready to hit the trail for a weekend full of Magic the Gathering. Get your tickets now. On the play. Oh my god. All right. Molly gives one lander into... I mean, we're going to keep. It's, like, fine, obviously. Uh, kind of the Paragon. I mean, I guess I could sacrifice the field and then get it back later. All right, I'm going to dump the... Lay down arms. Just see how it goes. Obviously, you don't know what they're playing yet, so it's kind of an issue. Turn 1, Mirix Spyglass Sirens. Some sort of artifact aggro deck, most likely. Sure. Definitely need to draw a few lands here, but... Shivan Reef. Oh. They're pirate. Trying to pirate me? Wow. Alright. Um... I don't want to feel just get, just get it in the graveyard for my share my paragon later. I think we play it. And killing their Murex will like likely help fix their mana, which sucks, but if I ossify now, they just play something better. Could like ossify with the raider and then next turn something else. I don't know how many basics they have either. You could try a mana screw them by hitting the Shivan Reef. Yeah, it might be a good, good path. Let's do that. Let's see how greedy they are. Basic check. Here's a Zoetic Glyph. I mean, we're going to minus on the Glyph, and we'll see if they uh, get lucky and cascade into a bang bang here. But, all right. Gain two, exile this. They hit a Spyglass Siren, sure. Let's cascade, fire that in. They can kill the Emperor, obviously, but they can't counter, which is important. So, and then next turn, we've got to... No! Breaches! All right. 
right. Obviously, we have sweepers in our deck. Drawing one wouldn't be too bad here. Even have two mana for a counter spell. All right. I mean, just gonna play the Paragon. I, I mean, they can make it so I can't block three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god. I mean, playing Ossification here is just terrible. Um, and kill their Murics too. Eh, we're in big trouble here, honestly. Could have played Mama Norn and like double ossified, but like we probably just die. It's three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're, we're dead to a, a map activation. So just make it so they can't block. Alright, I guess. That's tough. Our hand was pretty bad, but sure. We're bringing our lockdowns, our depopulates. Revelry seems not amazing. Look at these flankers. The thralls uh, do some pretty good stuff, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, Wanderer, Elish Norn does some things. Not a lot. It's kind of clunky. Wander, farewell. Hmm. And they are pretty big, but... Turn of Wander is kind of sketch. It's like a big, expensive card. It isn't even sweet. Yeah, just get rid of this. Alright, let's try this. On the black. Alright, much better hand. Wedding into Emperor, great. We can ossify on turn two if we feel like we have to, which is also great. Arr, pirates. Almost tempted just to cast this, just to like, as it fills in our curve, but. Double pirate, Tomb Raider. Oh my god, you need to like take it down a notch. Alright, opponent's coming in hard. We draw double Elishnorn. Come on. <laughs> you stress some spells. He lands, I mean. Alright, so there you go. You have the old breaches here too. Alright. Uh sure. We miss on a land. All right, I mean, let's ossify, hit the glyph, cascade the into a Volta Surge, love it. I don't know why that card's in their deck. Take it, just their hand, which is fine. Just gonna nab one of these guys, right? Just trying to stay alive here. Mega tokens, they go. They could like chill for a turn, we can draw land, that'd be awesome. This is a chill turn, it's like two, two one draw cards, fun. Schooner. Yeah. Need to draw land really bad here. Like, really bad. We did not draw land. Alright, I guess. Uh, sure. Just say go. Fire up the old schooner. Play another goblin tomb raider. I mean, they have the surge to break up a double block. Uh, yeah. Oh, 
Okay, sure, I guess. Like, try a lockdown, I guess. Like, I worked dead. Never mind. Oh, this isn't back. Never mind. Uh, two, four, five. I mean. I guess with the Emperor we could survive. Sure, let's walk into this. Three, four, five, six. Get a one. They named Vampire for their Epicure. We draw land. Alright, draw land. I mean. We're dead to actual anything, but if all I have is crew attack, I mean. We do survive that. They can't have a counter spell either, like, obviously, but. Cool. Cool. This is what you get for hurting my people. Alright. Is there some hope? Until next time, then. Keep watch for intruders. Don't give me hope. Eh. They see me hating. Pirates are the only ones who don't play fair, you know? Alright, make a token. Untap. That's a good draw. Uh, restoration? All right, I mean, going for comeback of the year here. He's gonna draw shock and kill me. Wow, I I thought we were dead ten ways till Sunday. There, that was ridiculous. All right, um, damn, what's coming in here? I think the rebel should actually come in. Maybe these 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 should come in too. Actually, knock out blows. They don't have that many red creatures. I just don't have that many, you know? Like, it's obviously really good against the one drop, but otherwise, like, it's fine, I guess. Let's cut these farewells. It shouldn't be in our deck. I guess Elisar doesn't seem bad, too, actually. Maybe Adam Indicator. Or two. Um, it's Adam Indicator. Let's start this. Ugh, the lack of planes. I find your lack of planes disturbing. All right, we're going to keep. We find more planes with these, obviously. And we have the knockout blow, too. All right, they have Epicure, so sure. All right, so there you go. Pirate! Crewmate. Probably not a pirate. They find a kite sail larcenist, an odd card to have in the deck post board against me, right? Sarah Paragon, sure. Get out of here. Be gone. We got another raider in for two. Another crewmate. Some forward progress here, obviously. Another reader, too. Damn. Alright, well, that was a pretty good draw. So we'll just fire up the uh, the wedding announcement. Lines up good blocks, gets on the board. I can untap an emperor. I can lay it on arms, do all sorts of cool stuff. That is aggressive. Alright, coming in. Oh my god. Right, this game's over, like. They have nothing left. We're at 13. Another Wandering Emperor? Sure. Um, um, make a 1 1. Exile, make a 2 2. Let me draw, let me draw a Counterspell, I guess. Obviously, it's kind of tough, but. So there you go.
The old emperor. Varaska's Contempt. I'm here to get you. Exile thing. Gain two for four mana. We're nine. Feeling fine. We're eight. Feeling fine. Right. So we draw Sunfall. I mean, we're doing double Emperor here, so this is fine, I guess. I'll be back. So we're going to have a 3 3 and a 2 2. They got to use the Larcenist. That gets an extra mana also. I think it's all good here. Yeah, I mean, they, they're just shoving all in. We're just going to, like, use the treasure and cast Sunfall probably, too, so. What's up, Chub? Thanks, three sub. Uh, straight blocks. No, uh, no emperor. We should go to six. This is fine. Yeah, just wrath. If I draw a land, I can get my, my guy back too. It should be cool, but. Alright, it's so untap. Draw a land. We don't draw a land, but whatever. Just guess that ball. This is this. They get to blood, but at six life, I'm feeling relatively healthy here. If they rip a, uh, a Zoetic thing, you yeah, go to one. That'd suck, but what am I going to do? Just exile and go back to three. Schooner. Schooner is a sailboat. All right, so we have a 4-4 four, four incubator to block with if necessary. Alright, and now they are out of artifacts. Going for a steal here. Sokazan. It's pretty good. It's like, eh, it's fine. So they're gonna scare I mean this is this they might not realize that this is actually a 4-4 and a 3-3 thanks to the festivities, so their top card's a glyph. That's exciting. Alright, uh sure. I draw a land. I have a 4-4. Four, four. I can discard a thing to get a thing back. Or just play the lands. Do this. Um, I actually can field them to shuffle it away, too. I can field them and then play play uh, Emperor or Paragon. That's pretty sick. Uh, field forces the shuffles. We can do this on Shivan Reef. And then, like, we can leave up Emperor or play Sarah Paragon. I'm good. Um, let's not play the Paragon. Probably with Emperors, they could counter it in theory if they draw, like, something good and then, like, a Spell Pierce or something like that, so... They are Belarcinist, which is pretty good. So I get to exile my Paragon. We should get it right back, though. It's fine. It's not a big deal, so. No good attacks. We draw planes. This thing comes back. We just lay down arms this thing. Pay the one. Wow. Rip the negates. All right, cool. Uh, good thing we have more Paragons where that came from. Value. And am I feeling it pompous enough to attack here? I think I am, actually. Your turn, friend. Epic here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Four life. We stack this field, I gain two life, which is also pretty cool. Um, we have the Emperor as well. If this thing dies, I get a Paragon back too. Alright, this is all pretty cool. Um, kind of want to just gain a life, honestly. Just like, keeping us out of range of whatever crap they might have. Alright, 
Uh, definitely you, obviously. I think you too. Ship it. This car kind of slaps when it gets going. All right, yeah, I mean, just gonna say go. Like, six life to eight life, bunch of good blockers and an emperor. Feeling pretty safe here. I struggle to think of a card that we lose to, so that's pretty awesome. Trying to complete this comeback if we can. Completed? Completed. I thought we were dead 10,000 ways till Sunday. Oh boy, we'll take it. All right. Haters rejoice. The player haters balls here. I'm going to keep. We draw land, but it's fine on the draw. Broker's hideout. All right, we got double flanker against the hideout deck. This also turns off... Not that much against them, but we draw land, obviously, but... So, playing the deck I played on my cool stuff video last week. This is the awesome teamer combo deck, which is totally insane. They also can't beat this card. It has to get in play at a reasonable time, though. And unfortunately, we need to draw land here, which we seem to be incapable, incapable of doing, so... Thrall does turn off flanker, which is kind of annoying. So, we're just going to, like... So, now I, I can Thrall stop the archaeologist, too. Ugh, which one is it? Would I rather exile the graveyard or stop the archaeologist? We should draw a land. I mean, if we draw a land, we have a, we have a decent chance of uh, of turn four Elshnorn. Like, get a planes. I don't know. Never mind. Uh, I'm thrown. Draw land, please. Please draw land. All right. Well, that's another land in the bin. Will I regret this? Maybe. Maybe. We drew a land. All right. So now I get the restoration for another planes. Again, they can't beat Elish Norn if it's in play. Like, I've played this deck before. My opponent played an Elish Norn, and we kind of pooped our pants. You know, um, they need to have, basically just have nine lands in play to fireball it. Otherwise, they just can't beat it. Unless they have the one uh, Sky Turtle or whatever, but... And now if they fireball my Thrall, it turns on the flanker again, which is kind of cool. I can always stack the triggers too, and I could like exile their graveyard, then return the Thrall. Whatever we're doing, they're going to think about it, so... As always, companion article this video on CoolStuffInc.com. Promo code Jim5. Buy stuff your order on CoolStuffInc.com. Sure. So let's go to full control. Um, so we're going to... They get two lands, which sucks. They might be too far ahead here, honestly, like on the play. We're like stumble a little bit out of the gate. Alright, so we're going to... Draw. We draw a Sarah Paragon. I mean, we do really want to land also. We flank her the graveyard. Return the Doorkeeper Thrall. Discard the other flanker. And return. The Thrall. The Thrall stops. What's the stop? Stop so the, the mill ability on the analyst. Um, doesn't stop Nissa at all. I don't think I return this honestly. Discarding a land doesn't matter. So we're not drawing a land, so um, Kind of want to guarantee their land, too, by playing Restoration. This is a really tough draw. Just, like, not drawing a land just hurts so much. Um, just going to do nothing. Just going to throw one. Play this. And now, like, I kind of want to guarantee Elishnorn next turn. They 
Make an analyst too, though. Oh man, right, I'm just gonna say go and be really sad about it. We are 42 percent to draw land. The river, the river isn't even that good. I'm using Nissa, sure. Got nothing. Sure. I guess scry too, I guess, also here. Let's do that. Let's just scry too. Try and find a land. Alright, there's a land. Cool. So I think later arms is fine. So let's do this. Alright, so let's go hit here. Untap. Flip over our saga. Attack for three. Just bomb Elish Norn. So Elish Norn turns off all their sack lands. Uh, they kind of have to have the draw two discard and then deal seven to it by discarding a seven mana card as well. Uh, There's still a few mana short of fireballing it. Although not that many, honestly. So. Let's see if our Haterade can work here or not. Okay, these next something. Sometimes play one Sky Turtle to just bounce it also. Oh, man. So, yeah. No, no landfall triggers. No land triggers. They can fireball for six right now. I guess one more land and they can kill it. That might be what they have, actually. So. All right. Let's Restoration. Um, get a Plains. Just, I mean, I would obviously trade if they let me, so. I have this thing too, actually, so. The question is, do I kill Nissa or not? This is fine. Alright, cool. Cool. This is great. So, in for a shot. We're going to say go. If they have a fireball to kill my thing, I get to exile their graveyard response, which is, like, not the best ever, but, like, we're, we're going to beat them down pretty well here. So, do they have land fireball for Elish Norm? That is the question. The question. Raymond. They do. So we're going to exile the graveyard in response. Not the best ever, but is what it is. That's gone. Ah, I got two triggers! I forgot! Uh, put a counter on each, each creature at left of the his turn. So each gains two scry to, I guess. Sure. Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, don't want those. One of the Elish Norn, honestly. But sure, exile the graveyard. That kills Elish Norn. We're still beaten. Um, kind of like doorkeeper thrall, sure. I mean, like, I don't want another thrall. I don't think. We have Sarah Power gone also, but like, none of this matters. I don't think. I mean, like, up's the clock, I guess. Yeah, like, whatever. Just discard Sunfall. Just discard Sunfall. Get get back a thrall. And then we just attack for a bunch. We're not going to lay down our we'll play Power Gone. Stack. I guess if they have the uh, the Sweeper, it's bad for us too, though. But I'll still be able to flash this in and then have this thing too. We'll just, we'll just do this. We're just going to go all in. And then we have a Flanker we can cast that wouldn't do anything because then we have the Thrall in play. So worst case scenario here, they play the uh, draw two, discard a card, and sweep. And I just like end step Thrall, flip this thing over. Sick. All right, cool. That game looked scary for a while. They had, they had a lot of stuff in play. So we're going to bring in uh, four Peacekeepers. We're going to bring in Stone Brains. We're going to cut the... Farewell is actually fine because it gets their graveyard too. It's not great though. Cut Sunfalls. Cut the Eternal Wanderer. Uh, cut Wedding Announcement. Ossification. A lot of cards to take out here. Uh... Ossification, get lost. All right, we got to leave some cards in, I guess. Wedding's fine. Honestly, Vindicator's just like, might just be a beater. Just play it before Manor start attacking. Um, I only have two flankers. Kind of interesting. Like, I guess Vindicator. All right, sure, let's try this. Alright, so game two, no two drop. 
hand is not great, honestly. We don't really have any hate cards. Uh, the problem is, like, I mean, we want to draw Stonebrain, Peacekeeper, Flanker, Elish Nord. Those are our big hits. I'm going to mulligan. I mean, I guess we're keeping. Uh, Doorkeeper Thrall does not stop Peacekeeper because it's an as, not a win. Uh, I mean, we'll return this march. Just pretty terrible. So, all right, let's draw land, I guess. Could have brought in the uh, the get or let or left in get lost to kill the enchantment, which is a, an important part of their strategy. But it might be better for just like some random big idiot card. Here's a Shigeki. I'm down to kill that one. Well, I can yet, actually. Never mind. So, sure. This card's good. I'm a big fan of this card. I play uh, multiple copies of this card, and my version of this deck, most decks only play one. It's totally fine to cast on two. Surprised there's no, uh... There's no, no destroy evils in this sideboard at all. It's really weird. Peace keep for days. So, peek the hand, name a card. It costs you more to use. They will fire up Shaggy. They will hit land. Okay. Ramping is really good, obviously, in this deck. We see their hand. Oh, there we go. Their hand is Shigeki, land, explosion, virtue, archaeologist. Archaeologist is dead with the, the Thrall in play. Um, it's going to be Explosion, right? I already have a lot of mana, too, but... Alright, so... Say go. This now costs... Six. They're going to Virtue back Nyssa off the top and play Nyssa. Man, our lack of planes is killing our late on arms here, you know? And they have a sack land too? Do I just, like, miss a part of their hand or something? Alright, we're in trouble. Uh, then I guess Shigeki here also. Find an Analyst too? Yeah, we're in trouble. Alright. Uh, it might be on draw flanker or bust here. They have played a two draw? Alright, well, draw planes. It's not good enough, though. Um, let's just jam. Play another Peacekeeper. And this time we name. It's probably Ill Time Explosion again. I mean, they can, they can land Analyst. Actually, it has to be Analyst. But then it's Explosion. That's fine. No. Alright, name Analyst. So, name Analyst. Now Analyst costs um, four to play and six to use. They can play a six-man Explosion that would also kill their own Nyssa. They also don't have any cards that are expensive. So all the cards they're going to cost two. They're going to attack. Then moving to attack position. Um, this is fine. I don't think the damage matters at all, and this makes their, their their wrath choice easier. So, make a mana. So, also the card they have in their hand is is uh, it costs more than two, or the cards they draw cost more. This might this might actually whiff here if they don't draw cards that cost more than two. The deck is half land, so all right, they find deluge, whatever. So that's pretty fortunate for them, but sure. We draw a farewell. No, we're a mana short of that. We're dead. Now they get to Analyst and the game's just over, so. Alright, that sucks. We'll go to game three here. Alright, it wasn't great. Um, they just have Analyst for five lands here. Yeah, the game's over. Analyst for five lands ends the game every time. Even with Graveyard Hate, it doesn't matter anymore, so.
That's six lands. Jeez. They brought a barrage? It's interesting. I'm going to cast this. They should, they, should, they should activate a response so I can't flanker them, but, like, I would never have a chance to do anything anyway, so. Yeah. I'm going to do the next game. Yeah, we, we just can't win. Yeah, so, once they have 15 lands in play and they have the, the enchantment and everything, let's bring in these, uh, these get losts and cut, uh, Vindicator's pretty bad. So is Farewell, honestly, but, like, it does exile the graveyard, I guess. Vindicators. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's leave these in. Let's, let's cut, like, these marches. These marches are terrible, too. We have a lot of bad cards against them, you know? It's fine. I'll play. Uh, turn three stone brain. That's fun. Let's keep this. We name the X spell, I guess. Like, I mean, unless they have some other way to win, that's pretty good. They can make a, make a bunch of mana and draw a bunch of cards, but like, they probably can't do anything. I mean, like, they can do a lot. They can do like loops and stuff with like Shigeki and things, but we'll find out, I guess. If they just play one copy of a different fireball, like I had a light up, light up, light up night in my sideboard for a while, and like that would, you know, that would win the game for sure. But we'll find out, I guess. So, here's Stone Brain. We could have waited for turn four, just done all at once, but like, I think we should do it now. All right, so here's an analyst. Maybe I should have waited. I should bring it back. Oh, it, 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 never mind. All right, so do we want to play a threat this turn and then just hit them next turn, or just like fire it off right now? I mean, they can't use it profitably at all. I should, I should wait it. I think. Let's play the wedding announcement. We'll see if we end up saving mana on turn four or not, but. I guess it's soft to a braid, so yeah, that, that was really dumb. I should not have played this card on turn two. That was just very, very bad. A braid's also a card that he's like, he's like bringing up against Hearst, too, so like, it's one of the common sideboard cards, but. Don't think we're getting punished here for it, but. Alright, so we'll just brain them. Uh, and we're gonna name the X spell. And the X spell is called World Souls Rage. All right, get out of here. They have one in their hand. They have a doppelganger. So they have another card that actually wins the game, which is a huge problem. That's why the Stone Brain is typically a pretty bad card. Uh, so Rage, Rage, Rage. They've got three Kellens. All right. Um... They draw a card. We're going to kill this so they can't use it. I'm just going to get it, I guess. Alright, so attack. Make a token and take up. Don't have the ramp yet, so Doppelgang's obviously pretty busto. There's a Kellen. Feeling kind of mid about this game, honestly. Draw late arms. Right, that kills Kellen, I guess. So once I get to eight mana, though, Doppelgang's pretty, uh, pretty silly. Um, and then we play Vindicator. Vindicator just dies to the freaking barrage in their hand, which is pretty bad. That's morph it, I guess. I'm gonna attack for one because I want to keep uh, making tokens. Let's morph this. 
sake, yo. And step, make a token. Flip this thing up. Now I have a clock at least, which is good. Um, archaeologist. Oh, man. The archaeologist hit the freaking explosion. Oh, it's so sick. The good news is that they don't have anything expensive in their hands. So they can't actually kill everything yet. But... Alright, let's just kill this stupid thing. Uh... So they take seven. Nope, they're gonna try to wrap. Alright. Looking for a card that costs more than two. Here's an explosion. Right. That's a bummer. Uh, nothing to get back. Might as well just do it though, right? All right, you're up. Doppelgang. They weren't playing the doppelgang. The stone brand would have been good. Because they are, it's terrible, like it usually is, so. We do have more lands in play than they do, which is impressive. Eternal land. Yeah, we're just so dead here. Oh my god. This deck's so good. It's funny how we're now in like week two of this deck. Week one, it was fun and novel, and like, oh, this is so cool, it's a fun new deck. Week two, it's like, this deck is absolutely broken. Um, I think this deck is the best deck in the format. I don't think it's close. Um, Alright. Obviously, the format will adapt, but... Yeah... You're about to get doppelganged, so... Alright, so... I mean... Yeah, I mean, like... If they doppelgang to copy Architect, they get Architect face up, I believe. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i sorry, face... Whatever. The, ar, yeah, they get Architect, not the front side. Obviously, Graveyard Hearts, Graveyard Hate's good against this deck, as are counter spells and discard spells and stuff. Uh, if they were to ban a card, it'd be Analyst, I think, for sure. Uh, I'm not saying they will or they should, but, like, if they, you know, if it gets to that point. Uh, but. It's also the fact that, like, New Capenna rotates out soon enough. I believe it's the fall. It rotates out, too. So having kind of a crazy thing is a little bit for a, for a little while is pretty fun. The deck's obviously super cool and very, very, uh, very, very ingenious build of a deck, for sure. Do they want to copy Architect and my wedding announcement? Or wedding festivity, I mean. It's funny that, like, if I just never play anything, it's a doppelgang. I guess they would just attack me for five with this or whatever, but... All right, you got a million mana flowing. What are you doing, friend? They're duplicating. Here we go. 
X equals five. They're giving me targets to feel the ruin. All right, so they get five planes, five fields, five demolition fields. They have five wedding festivities and five architect restorations. You have a farewell on our deck, right? It's pretty cool. Hard guess virtue, yep. But again, they have no fireballs in her deck, so like I'm gonna barrage this. I'm gonna make a counter, make it bigger. So one farewell, please. Third explosion again. Ugh. Alright, well whatever. I guess they're gonna kill my kill my planeswalker. Alright. I mean, it's farewell or bust, you know? Farewell everything here. I think we're actually a favorite to win this game, so. If I try and field a field, they will just suck. Actually, one second. So, if I try and field a field, they just suck at response and I want to actually search. But if I field a field, and then response field a field, retaining priority... They'll have nothing to target with their own fields, and therefore they'll get destroyed. I believe that's how it would work. Um, so I have to retain priority. Oh, I can't. I don't have mana. Never mind. So, sure. Uh, Swan tap. And draw farewell. That's not farewell. All right. You got me. That's fine. GG. On the play, and is it's fine, solid, reasonable. Mama, mother, proving ground domain is uh, not particularly good for us. Elishnorn is our ace in the hole against them, but I was thinking just sunfall it. All right. Not ideal. Speaking of Sunfall. Right, get a plane, Sigio. Yeah. Alright, I mean, hopefully no battle the next turn for the full stones. We draw a farewell. Alright, so we're gonna just ramp it up here. Yeah, I mean, it's not pretty, but sure, whatever. Just vanilla 3-4 flyer. Turn 4. This was the deck that pushed Mono White out. Mono White was uh, a major deck in the metagame until Traxxas was printed. And then Domain is the deck that kind of pushes out. Traxxas is just so good against this deck. It's just, like, almost unbeatable, so. Stomper number 2. And they land landing. Okay. So. At this point, we just have to cast Ellis Norm because if they get tracks next turn, we can't win. But if they have a Sunfall, it's also really bad for us. We just can't do anything about it, though. So, play Ellis Norm and say, yeah. Here's Mama. Mama turns off their entire deck except for Sunfall. Uh, Binding doesn't work. Stomper doesn't work. Tracks doesn't work. Angels don't work. Uh. Beanstalk is ETB, right? Oh, I have a cast. So the the cast triggers still work, but all right. So um, I mean, we're ready to ride or die here with our wandering emperor. So send him to clowns. Go get him, mama. Four seven. Large posterior. 
Bold block. I mean, like, obviously I have a freaking thing. I, I should I should have fielded them too. That's my mistake. But. Alright. Plus it up. How about a 5-8? Alright. I mean, again, we... You know, everything but some fall is good for us here. End step cycle. Alright. I mean, of course, they play, they play more some fall, so... Might have to populate also. Domain's got a few bad matches in this format, but it's still, uh, still one of the top dogs for sure. I mean, now, bitch, yeah, we're just probably pretty dead. Uh, okay. Could farewell on enchantment. Um, get a little value there. This sucks, but... And that'll make a token just to go. Can't beat a Traxa, really, but... What are you gonna do? Archangel of Wrath. That one is beatable. Uh, this will kill my Paragon, but, like, whatever. Could have maybe added a, power, a counter to the Paragon to play around this, actually, because we were going to return our Restoration. So that might have been a mistake, actually. Might have been better just to, uh, just to wait. Um, hmm. Might just cast Sunfall here. I don't know. They are playing a mountain. Not all versions play a mountain. <sighs> Let's just do this and say go. Though without my emperor, I was playing an emperor and eat it, I guess. Eat it! All right, let's say go. And the problem is, like, we just don't kill them for so long, which eventually we'll draw on Traxa. Uh-oh. Have they seen through my ruse? No, they have not. All right. Obviously, it's not a great exchange for us, but... We can just wait. There's no point in doing it right now. They don't gain life anyway because the target's gone, and we can just wait till end step. Let's see what they do. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. The old Atraxa. They hit uh, land, enchantment, battle, sorcery. Not even that good of an Atraxa, but... Oh, there's an Atraxa in there. I missed it. Scrap. That's really bad. Did not see that one. All right, so they have Beseju, Atraxa, Sunfall, Binding. Just a few cards behind here, you know? Keep watch for intruders.
Got this 4-4. Four, four. They're gonna besage you. Oh my god, what a what a what a BM. Gonna besage you my freaking incubator. Alright. You got it. Oh these attracts the players, let me tell ya. Cavern on Angel. Sunfall is also a rampant growth. And they're gonna Archangel of Wrath. Sure. Trying to cast their spells uh, before they refill again with the Traxa. Oh, we can go to the next game. Yeah. Not a good matchup. Uh, no lies. Stone Brains, Vindicators, Peacekeepers. Cut farewell. Lay down arms. Uh, get lost. Ossification are fine. March is pretty bad too. Flagger just beats. Honestly, yeah, it was fine. Let's try this. All right, on the play. It's about as aggro as it gets. Sure. I haven't drawn a freaking doorkeeper thrall yet. It's one of our answers to our tracks, which is kind of nice. Alright, I mean, Peacekeeper it is. Gotta keep the peace. Ugh. Where, where are we? I guess. Alright, their hand is Headquarters. They destroy evil, Migration, Sunfall. Uh, I guess Sunfall, right? Like. Story of a costing four isn't even that bad, so. Alright. They can evil my wedding announcement, but, like, I'm gonna do. Probably just play Emperor next turn, honestly. This is a match where, like, strategically, our deck just like, doesn't function against them. Like, nothing we're doing actually matters in the axes that they're playing, so. The axes. Alright. Say go. Let's Emperor them. Try and get some beats on. The sunfall costs seven. I've learned much during my travels. May your blade strike. All right. I mean, like we're kind of, kind of getting our hits in. Don't want to go to four toughness, obviously. I mean, we're on a three-turn clock, right? Do I want to field them twice? That would... So they get, like, a forest and a plains, and they can't really cast many of their spells, actually. Is that better than playing a wedding house? They're going to destroy anyway. I should have made a token. Because I can't pump next turn because I destroy evil. I guess I assumed I was playing wedding announcement, but... Um, hmm... Interesting spot. Make a token next turn, still a two-turn clock. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. Are oh, you freaking... <sighs> Auto Zapper! Channel land, sure. It's fine. We're leaving up the Thrall. I get a mountain. Yeah, I would have loved to hit that thing, right? Sure. Um, if I play the Wedding... Sure, I'll split this. They're just gonna kill it, but whatever, it's fine. I don't think we have a valuable Thrall next turn, so... We get a card. Dub's Eternal Wanderer.
Land five. Say go. All right. So once again, I can't plus on Emperor. All those are things. So it's a jam, I guess. Just take it. All right. I mean, we're trying to go coast to coast here. I'm going to field them again. It's restoration first. Do have a planes in their hand, so they can cast to populate, but what am I gonna do, you know? I want to be. Alright, here we are. Lethal on board. Draw a card. Ugh. Not lethal on board. We draw Aurelia's Vindicator. Vindicated! So... I mean, if I had left that mana for the Thrall, I could have, like, countered that. Which might have been better, honestly. Now we're going to Sunfall me next turn. Still destroy evil in hand, too? Oh, man, this is gross. Feels real bad. Alright. Attack. Can like restoration, like I mean, we can restoration and then hold up the thrall in case they have an Atraxa. Alright, deal four. Get a land. Play the land. Just say go. Got a lot of stuff in play. They should have a full full group of seven. They're just gonna attack in wrath, I guess. I guess kills the emperor too. That's fun. Years of training for this. Honestly, probably best off to not sunfall here and just like use the evil to kill the five five probably, and wrath later when these when these things flip. Here's a stomper. Um. Don't think we're gonna bother. Flip this thing. This can block too. Gross. Uh, We have nine mana. We could Vindicate her and get some more stuff back. Right, they're definitely in Sunfall mode. Um, if I were to morph this, I could unmorph it for X equals two and save two things post Sunfall, right? I get back my Thrall and I guess this thing. All right. Sure. 
The attack can gain more life. Go back to 15. So we will flip this thing up. Oops. Is our architect and our thrall. Those get tucked. Sunfall resolves. They draw a card. Make an incubator. Get the cards back in my hand. It's like fine. Wanderer can kill the incubator, which is kind of cool. Um. And we're just going to keep on trucking, I guess. I mean, Thrall does certainly help against the, uh, god damn, against Angels. Hmm. Ten manas. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven manas. Oh boy. Alright, so. We wanderer plus on this. They can attack it down to two, which is fine. Let's just say, yeah, I mean, we're we're grinding. I was just face up, so if they haven't tried, they have a, a track, so they know not to play it into it, but. What's this new devilry? Sure. All out. Attacking me? You want to attack me? Really? Alright. Sure, that's fine. Makes sense, I suppose. Naming Phyrexian, sure. Let's hit one of these. They're almost out of basics, folks. Alright. We are going to hold this. We draw a Sarah Paragon. That can play some stuff from my graveyard. That's kind of cool. So here's Paragon. Peacekeeper seems somewhat irrelevant here. Let's play the uh, restoration. We're also almost out of basics. <laughs> um, they're officially out of basics. We did it. We did it. They only have nine mana of all colors. That's it. Never gonna have more than that. God. It's not a destroy evil? Damn. All right. See, they're smart. They're just cycling all their duels because they know we'll destroy them. So, makes sense. It's logical. Ugh. All right. The problem is, like, I guess they've cycled like almost all of their freaking migrations. They've had two so far. 
I need to wrap this, obviously, so... Alright, untap. We'll discard... Nothing, so I'm gonna cast Wrath anyway, so... I might as well get, get a Field of Ruin back, right? Other planes, so... Here's Sunfall. Here's Restoration. Grab a Snickers, folks. I'm a major show in this game, honestly, but it's like on the land mandate. <laughs> what do you They got 28 cards to my 33. Decking is usually a powerful thing. It's a uh, domain deck when you have like Jace in your deck, you know? Sure. All right, buddy. Time to get to work. Two or less. Uh, all right, here we go. We're holding this thrall because we don't want to, we want, we want to get some ball on it, and I want to use it to counter attracts it kind of. Obviously, it's face up, but I need to find binding and tracks of him. Depopulate. You got it. They're dead. Yo, bro. All right, so we can't have many basic lands even left in our deck. This is kind of ridiculous. So we got one basic left. Sega. To Rook Ryanfest. That's. They can they can nug me obviously, but it's fine. Damn. Uh, all right, the Klein. We got freaking Elish Norns in there. We got some Vindicators and some. Stone brains and all sorts of stuff. I should have to act so stupid. Obviously, the problem with tracks is being a 7 7, uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, I suppose. That's also a problem. That's our last basic. Our deck is now all spells. All spells, two citadels, and three field of ruins. Huh. Alright. Um shit. I mean, I ain't chump blocking, so we'll go to two. We did, we're dead another angel, but whatever, I guess. Yikes! <laughs> Well, we put up a valid fight, uh, but I believe this is the end for us. I, we're still alive, technically, I guess, but...
were wraiths, neither living nor dead. Alright. I mean, like, if they have actual nothing here, we actually kill them on the swing back. That's, like, impossible to have nothing, basically, but... Two more tokens. I'm sorry, it's only 12. God damn, we're not even, we're not even lethal. Ah! Oh my god. Uh, still dead, but sure. Block with a shark. Block with a shark. I'm just casting a wrath. Don't take four. I'm just casting a wrath. Block with a shark. Uh, still alive? Still alive. Still alive. Not dead yet. I should have cast to block one of these. That was stupid. Uh, whatever. Sure. Um, yeah, screw it up. That's fine. Make a token. Gain two life. Scry two. Paragon Peacekeeper. Paragon's got ossification in there and some thralls and stuff. All right. Paragon plays, I think. Down to one. We're still one short of killing them again, but, you know, whatever. Is what it is. Yeah, yeah, we get the we get the gist. Still haven't found Traxy yet somehow, which is kind of unbelievable, but Alright, Wrath the board. We got the old fashioned reset, and now we're gonna Paragon and play our 1-3 so they cast Traxa. I feel like our opponent could be playing a little bit tighter. I feel like they're kinda of giving us a chance in this game and probably shouldn't have had one, but so play those things and now they can't Traxa us. All right, sure. Draw two more cards with Beanstalks. 15 cards in deck. <sighs> Only we had a Jace. They reveal... Atraxa, Angel, Stomper, Atraxa, Battle. Uh, okay. They have nine cards left. So if I draw Farewell, it's not my deck anymore. Yeah, top card's definitely, definitely, uh, definitely gonna be, um, be Mom, right? All right, basics left. No. Oh, whatever. Give it a good shuffle. Jared Betcher card on top of our deck. All right, that's not going to do it. All right, yeah. I mean, I can't believe you hung on as long as we did. It's just an absolutely dreadful matchup. Uh, so, what are you going to do?
All right, so obviously not the best matchup spread for us. This deck seems really, really good against all the mid-range decks and the aggro decks in the format. Uh, with all these extra probably get removal spells and planeswalkers and stuff. Uh, so domain, not what we want to see. Even though we have good hate cards with the combo deck, it's still a tough one. Uh, and then we beat up on a creature deck, obviously, which works out well, fine. But um, but yeah, definitely kind of a cool list, kind of cool seeing this one come back. Uh, definitely weird, you know, main deck thralls are obviously kind of cool, but hey, Willie's really, really good at magic, obviously a Hall of Famer for a reason, and, uh, he, you know, 5 out of league, could be, could be a cool one to keep an eye out for, for sure, so, hope you enjoyed it, of course, I'm Jim Davis for CoolStuffInc.com, use promo code Jim5 for 5% off your order on CoolStuffInc.com, check out the YouTube page, like, comment, subscribe, for watching on YouTube, you can check out the main Cool Stuff, uh, article, I do an article every Friday and Monday, and the article for this deck is on there right now, so go check it out, alright, I'll see you all, uh, on Friday for my article, and, uh, for now, peace. Jim Davis or CoolStuffInc.com. Have a good one.